Hey everyone, Sarah Montrose here with Keller Williams Central, Central North Carolina Real Estate. Today's topic, five important things to do during your due diligence period here in North Carolina. So let's jump right in. The due diligence period in North Carolina is the buyer's opportunity to take a closer look at the property by way of various inspections and investigation. During this time period, the buyer will want to inquire about anything that may affect their decision to move forward with the contract or to terminate. This brings us to our first item, inspections. Some of the inspections a buyer may choose to have done on the home may include a home inspection, wood destroying insect inspection, radon testing, septic or well inspections if relevant, water or mold testing, lead-based paint or asbestos testing depending on the age of the home, HVAC inspection, a pool or spa inspection, a property survey, among several others. But don't let this lengthy list get you down. Not all of these inspections will be necessary for every property. And many times buyers will use a home inspection to identify other potential areas of concern that they will then investigate more deeply as needed. Directly relevant to inspections is number two, negotiate repairs. In North Carolina, we use the due diligence repair and agreement document to highlight desired repairs that are being requested by the buyer to the seller. The seller is not obligated to complete any repairs, however, and it is important for you to realize this going in. If an appraiser identifies repairs that are required prior to closing, the seller still must agree to these repairs and is not obligated to complete them, although it is obviously in their best interest to do so in many cases. The third thing to consider during your due diligence period may be in H any HOA rules or regulations, as well as any other restrictions that may exist on the property. The last thing you want in your brand new home is to find out you're not allowed to have those chickens you were dreaming about or that you have to keep your grass cut to a specific height. Your agent should be able to seek out and provide this information to you, preferably before the time of offer, and put you in contact with the HOA should you move forward with the contract. Number four, and important things to do during your due diligence period, the appraisal. So I'm sure we've all heard horror stories about low appraisals coming in, loans requiring work to be completed prior to closing and holding up the deal. And while these things are possible, a little due diligence by your agent can avoid a lot of problems in this area. By looking at the comparable properties prior to writing your offer, your agent should be able to recommend a price point at which the home is likely to appraise. This is a very important step and should not be skipped. Additionally, not everyone is required to have an appraisal done on the home they plan to purchase. This is often related to the amount of money you put down for your loan, as well as if you are a cash buyer. Discuss with your lender and or agent prior to writing an offer so you know what to expect during the transaction. A title search comes in as number five, and in North Carolina, this will be completed by your closing attorney. You as the buyer have the right to select your desired closing attorney. If you do not have a preferred attorney that you'd like to work with, try asking your agent or some other trusted source for recommendations. Among other things, the attorney's office will review the property records to ensure clear title will convey to you at closing, assuming you follow through with the deal. Any issues discovered by said attorney would be brought to your attention and resolution would be sought depending on the situation. So I know that was a lot of information and sometimes I have a tendency to talk quickly. So if you still have questions, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to help you and would prefer that you felt confident and prepared as you go into your transaction. And if you like this video and want to see more like this, please hit subscribe and let us know what you thought. Okay.